Jenya, and this is Jenya's kitchen. And this handsome boy over here, or girl, we're not sure yet, is a sturgeon that Eric caught. This is the very last one he caught so far. In Russian, this is called a sota. So there is a possibility this thing still has caviar in it if it's a girl, and we will make sure to get it out. Otherwise, we are going to show you today how to clean and scale a uh, sturgeon. There is not a lot of videos out there that do anything except just filleting it. I'm actually still figuring out filleting it actually scares me still a lot. But I met this wonderful Russian people on the shore once and they told me what to do. So I've tried it and it works. We went from 12 hours for 5 sturgeons to 5 minutes of sturgeon. It's got to be amazingly easy. So let's start with beheading this thing, gutting it, and then I'll show you the most easiest scaling process in the world. So there we go. The fish, the knife, thank you Emily for the filleting knife. It's gonna get a lot gross. If you cannot watch this thing getting beheaded and got it, pause, stop, you don't wanna see it. This is gonna be gross. I hope I do it right. So, by the way, the trick is not to puncture the gallbladder. If I do, I have to go straight into the water and rinse out the whole thing so it doesn't get bitter. So let's hope we don't hit it. Let's hope it cuts. This fish is very hard to cut. And it has a giant, giant head. You have to use the gloves. It's very... I think I'm on the verge of a gallbladder here. Okay. I'm gonna go straight into the water. Ugh. Go straight into the water. I, I want it to get gross. It's gross, isn't it? Sorry. Don't look. <laughs> All right. Heads off. Okay. The guts are coming out. Woo. Okay. They didn't come out all the way. So now what we're gonna do is take a wonderful knife and make a line down. I'm gonna start with the butt. I'm gonna try at least. Yep, it looks like it's working. Just push a little bit. This fish has a very thick skin. It's very not easy. Not like other fish. Whew. Almost there. Almost there. The last point. All right. Well, congratulations. It's not a girl. It's a boy. <laughs> and look at all this gorgeous fat. This fish has been doing some winter living. Oh, yeah. This is gorgeous. I know a lot of you go in, this is gross. For me, fatty fish is the best fish there is. I'm getting all this fat out, because we can, we don't have to eat it. There is omega-3. If you know what to do with it, you go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going back in the sink. Trying to get out all of this stuff. You can see this. Trying to get all the little membranes off. Don't worry about it too much. Just because the way I'm gonna show you to get the scales off will also help you clean this area as well. Which is nice. Which is very helpful. Alright. Well don't tell me this was not officially gross. <laughs> okay, I have some intestines here that are not coming out. I'm going to try and cut a little lower, just a teeny bit, just to see if I can get them out. Ah, just stuck on it. All right. Now the next step. I do want to get rid of these two things before we go to clean it. Look at that. Okay, so now I have a pot of boiling hot water that's been boiling and waiting for this fish for a while now. So I'm going to meet you at the stove and we're gonna go straight into the water 
and we are and um when you see me I'll, it's already gonna be in the water because i'm gonna, just gonna plop it in and um we're gonna time it the lady told me at the one i met at the shore to do three minutes uh this fish probably would do just fine in two and a half because we don't want to just boil it we just want to get this thing off because it's really hard and those things are very sharp so i'll meet you at the stove fish will be already swimming and we'll be already timing it there we go two and a half minutes passed we'll have a bowl of cold water i turned this off i'm gonna open the freezer and get some ice out and that ice in here this is icy cold water Ooh. take this fish out very carefully have a new bar glass if you can't tell because I want to stop cooking fast. One, two, three. There it went. Hello, fishy. There we are. Uh, move this so you can see me better. All right. So it's not hard to touch anymore. First of all, do you see this? This. How easy this is going to come off. So while I'm in water, I'm going to slowly pull on it like this. Oh my goodness, do you see this? This took my mom hours the first time she made it. This is going to come off like a glove. Look how easy it's just peeling off. Look at all the side skin. Need to be careful not to pull the meat off. Look at this. Look at this, it just peels off. It's amazing. So I'm gonna do some of it under the water. Cause it's easier for me that way. But look at it, it's just coming off. I mean, we're talking revolution in, in, in the sturgeon here just because we spent days before cleaning this thing and Eric had his whole arm, skin all gross because of it cause he didn't wear gloves the whole time. And I mean, it was, it was a disaster. Look at it now. It's just coming off, just like the skin from the beef tongue. Yeah, now we're talking. See, all the meat is there. We're just losing the fat, the skin, a little splashing. Everything is just coming off, just like this. I mean, this is magic. I'm gonna come back to you when I'm done cleaning, and I bet you it's not gonna take me more than a couple more minutes. I'm gonna come back to you really soon. So check out this most gorgeous, clean sturgeon, which is still raw in the middle, we still have to cook it. But there is one more thing. There is a spine in it. There is a spine inside of it, and it's like, um, it's like a cord. By the way, look at the inside. This all cleans out. It's amazing. It's amazing how it does it. So we're gonna try and get this cord out ourselves. See how it goes worked for me last time. Ah, maybe I won't be able to do it. Oh no. There is a cord that you should be able to pull. Maybe not. Maybe not today. All right, well I guess we're gonna keep the spine, which is fine too. It's just a cartilage, it's nothing wrong. There is a few little bones right here, and then this is just a cartilage in the middle. We just don't have to eat it. But I'm Zhenya, this is Zhenya's Kitchen, and this is how we now here clean and scale a whole sturgeon. Mm -hmm.